Hello, and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to the Violin. Now, there are a few main parts to the instrument that you need to be familiar with, so let's name them. First, at the top of the instrument, you have the scroll. It's named that because, well, it kind of looks like a paper scroll. Then, we have the tuning pegs. There are four on the instrument. You should not touch these unless you have adult supervision or your teacher's permission, as they can really alter the tuning of your strings. Next, we have this long black piece of wood called the fingerboard. It's named that because eventually you'll put your left hand fingers on the fingerboard to change the notes. More on that later. Next, we have the bridge. The bridge is the thin piece of wood that holds up the strings. And lastly, we have the fine tuners. These can make little adjustments in your strings tunings. Usually, we'll be using those if we need to tune our instruments. And now, let's talk about playing the violin. First, I'm going to show you what's called rest position, and that's simply putting the violin on top of your left leg and supporting it with your left hand. This is true no matter if you're left or right-handed. Now, there are three steps to get into playing position for the violin. First, you're going to hold the violin carefully out in front of you, turn it upside down, and then dive it into your neck. Whee! And then you're there. Now, we're supporting the instrument with our left hand, but we're going to pluck or bow with our right hand. So give me a thumbs up with your right hand, give me a thumbs down with your right hand, and now we're gonna stick this thumb on the edge of this long black piece of wood called the fingerboard. It goes right on the edge. Now from here, you're going to wiggle your pointer finger. This is your plucking finger. Go ahead and pluck the string closest to your thumb. That's the E string. Go ahead and go to the next string. That string is your A string. One more string down, and this is your D string. And then reach to that last string, the one furthest from your thumb, and that is the G string. And now you're ready to start playing the violin. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your teacher.